tough final loss with two on Zahid. Yeah. Crazy semifinal with him last year was the, the controversial head pull. Head gear controversial. Pull. What? Okay. It was a head gear pull. Yeah. Right? Okay. Your coaches had the wherewithal to, you know, check the review. Um, Got the point. You win, right? Yeah. Can't grab head gear. Correct. Looking at that match coming out, he gets the first takedown. What did that do? Did that do anything to momentum to you? Uh, no. I mean, give up first takedown. It's not unfamiliar territory. There was a while there in my career where I was giving up the first takedown during high school matches. So, uh, I mean, it's nothing unfamiliar. Just get up, keep wrestling. You're always so calm. You're cool. You're collected. You've wrestled at every level on the world stage. You know, in a match like that, you're in a dogfight, man. Third period going into it. What's the mind? What's the thought process? I got to, you know, you're, you're, you're within striking distance. What do you got to do to, to change a result like that? And what's your thoughts going into the third period on that one? Yeah, uh, people kind of know me for calm, cool, collected, right? But some time like that kind of comes back to bite you in the butt. Uh, I mean, there's just, I mean, it, it's, it's good to be calm there and know wherever I end up, I'm just going to end up uh, putting my best foot forward. But at the same time, um, again, yeah, I mean, you got to shoot and make something happen. Had a good scramble right there at the end of the second period. So you got to get away, things like that. Uh, yeah, that's, that's a position, and that's uh, something I'm going to go back to the drawing board and work on where being, you can't be calm, you can't be cool, you can't be collected. I mean, you, you got to make something happen. There's no other way. The scramble. Mm-hmm. You, you score in crazy scrambles all the time in freestyle, in, in you know, folk style. Yeah. That scramble. <coughs> if you, you know, those, are one, those are scrambles Mark Hall wins. Mark Hall wins scrambles because that's what he does, right? You got free cups, you're an athlete. If you could have created more scrambles, is that a different match? Uh, I don't know. He's good. He knows. Uh, he knows how to wrestle me. I know how to wrestle him, and so uh, I don't know. You, I'm not much for hypotheticals. Um, there's more scrambles. Some would say favors me. Some would say it favors him. So I mean, whatever, whatever it is, I'm not. I'm definitely not one to look back on something and think in my head how I could have changed it. Uh, you know, I lost eight to two. Got rode for longer than a minute. Uh, it's the first time in a long time that's happened. So whether it's scrambles, whether it's not getting taken down in the first place, uh, there's and there's stuff I can work on. There would have been stuff I could work on if I won. I've been you know watching you and seeing you since you've been you know eight nine years old, a little little guy, right? Mm-hmm. And uh, you know your dad's always been there for you, and uh, you've wrestled a lot. You very rarely get away from the mat. Will we see you get away from the mat a little bit, or is this like we're gonna wrestle even more now? Do you amp it up? What do you do? You know, you, you've been a mat rat ever since you've been like five years old, man. Mm-hmm. What does this do to that? Does it change anything? Uh, we'll see. I'm I, I'm not looking forward too much. Uh, I'm just gonna celebrate uh, a good tournament with my team. Um, I'm not sure if we have it locked up. We're I think it's locked. It's locked. Locked up. Let's just say that. Get, I think it is. If it's locked up, I'm gonna go celebrate a team title. Uh, you know, it, 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 it's bigger than me is the important thing. It's bigger than what I do. It's bigger than how I think of something, how I think of what I want to end up uh, doing for the remainder of the year. And, uh, um, I mean, yeah, there's, uh, there's no, like, definites. I could, I could go back tomorrow and start wrestling as soon as I get back and I end up getting hurt. So, um, you yeah, know, that could sideline. There's, there's stuff always going on in people's lives that can uh, – you know, I guess kind of deter what you're thinking. So I'm just gonna celebrate a good team title, celebrate a good team win. Uh, you know, we had ourselves in a hole for a while there, so I'm just happy uh, where we are as a team. Two of the all-time greatest teams ever in NCAA mm-hmm. wrestling history oh, yeah. wrestled here today. No runner-up has ever scored 130 points. Only like 15 t- or 20 teams have scored 130 points. Mm-hmm. That's amazing. What does this say about this season and this this great rivalry you guys have with Ohio State? Uh, yeah, I just think uh, they had a good first day, and we had a better second, third day. We just wanted it more. We had guys that um, getting bonus points when they needed to get bonus points. Guys wrestling back. Nick Lee, a true freshman wrestling in the backside, to come back and take uh, fifth after losing your first match. Like, no matter what I could have done, no matter what <coughs> any of the. <coughs> Any of the champions could have done, like, you have a kid with a heart like that. You almost do anything you can to win with, with someone like Nick Lee on your team. 
guys like Shaq and Nick Nevels who just continue to fight being on the backside, that's where the championship stuff won. So, um, yeah, uh, it's a good rivalry, but at the same time, um, I mean, everybody knows that we're, we're coming to wrestle in March, and that's how it will be for years to come. We're just happy to be here and grateful for the opportunity. And, uh, you know, no matter what it is, we're just uh, – excited for things to come in the future as well. All right, man, you guys got some celebrating to do. You got anything else for me? Right. Uh, not too much. I'm just thankful for everything in my life, everybody in my life. Uh, it's it's amazing how, like, like, a loss can make you kind of rethink and think about those kind of things. But, um, yeah, I'm definitely – I'm happy with where I am. And, uh, you know, God put me right here for a reason. So whatever that reason ends up being, uh, I'm thankful for it. Congratulations on the team title, man, and another NCAA final. Thank you.